I'm calling to order the January uh, zoning meeting. Um, roll call, please. Commissioner Lundy? Here. Commissioner Durrett? Here. Commissioner Oster? Here. Commissioner Ward? Here. Commissioner Schoonmaker? Here. Commissioner Hill? Here. Commissioner Lee? Here. Commissioner Beeler? Here. Commissioner Daly? Here. Commissioner Jay? Here. Commissioner Frazier? Present. Thank you. Uh, I'll turn the uh, meeting to Director Moyers, um, who will swear in those who will testify today. All right, if you're here to address this commission on any item regard that's on the agenda, if you're here uh, asking for a change or opposing a change, please stand and raise your right hand. If you're an applicant for a change, if you're gonna speak to this board, please stand and raise your right hand. All right, you solemnly swear, there we go. You solemnly swear or affirm testimony about to give me the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so you got it. All right. Thank you. Madam Clerk, if you'd read the first item, please. Item number 40 is a request of Jim Snowden, Knox County Engineering and Public Works, to change the street name of Topside Road to Scenic River Road between Alcoa Highway and the new <coughs> alignment of Topside Road on the west side of Alcoa Highway. This is in the 9th Commission District. Thank you. Is the applicant present? Yes, he is. Is there any uh, opposition to this? Seeing none, planning, if you'd read the recommendation. Planning Commission recommends that County Commission approve the name change from Topside Road to Scenic River Road as requested by the Knox County Engineering and Public Works by a vote of 11 to 0 on consent. Thank you. Commissioner, or uh, Director Snowden, did you have any comment about that? Um, no, ma'am. We just, this is where the state has recently realigned uh, Topside Road and constructed a new bridge and in instituted a new traffic flow and resulted in a section of roadway that needed a new name. And, <clears throat> Uh, we petitioned the folks with several options, and this was the option that they uh, preferred. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Daly. Thank you, Madam Chair. Make a motion to approve uh, item 40 as stated. Second. Motion by Daly, second by Schoonmaker. Is there any more discussion on this? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Next item, please. Item number 41 is request of William Dale Roten for an East County Sector Plan Amendment from OS to GC. Property was located at 3220 East Governor John Sevier Highway, parcel ID 0961103, part of, and this is in the 9th Commission District. Thank you. Is the applicant present? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Please come forward. <laughs> Is there any opposition to this item? Seeing none, uh, uh, Director Brooks, would you read the recommendation? Certainly. Planning Commission recommends that County Commission approve the GC General Commercial Land Use Classification because it is compatible with the surrounding development and is in a minor extension of this classification by a vote of 12 to 0. Thank you. Sir, would you like to speak to the project? There's a button to turn on to the right on top, a little black box. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I would just like to change the zoning in, uh, in this what has done there was opposition to Ramsey House and we decided to give them, you know, almost 60% of the property to keep it historic for this to come to this point. So I appreciate your vote. All right, thank you. Oh, yes, sir. Would you state your name for the record, please? It's William Dale Roten. Yes, thank you. I uh -huh. should have asked you for that. Um, Seeing no other lights, I'll turn this to Commissioner Daly. Thank you, Madam Chair. This piece of property is right on John Sevier Highway next to the new Dollar General. I say new, it's been 14 years or 10 years anyway, so it still looks new. And Mr. Roten is wanting to take a little piece of that property that fronts John Sevier, uh, maybe two acres, I think. Between two and two and a half acres. Yeah, and then turn it into commercial. And the back rest of the property will remain in the uh, historic open space overlay and it won't it'll never be developed 
So I will, I will make a motion to approve. Second. All right, we have a motion by Commissioner Daly to approve on the floor, second by Beeler. Any other discussion? Commissioner Frazier. Thank you, Madam Chair. I just wanted to take an opportunity to thank you um, in reading through this and, and also commend you. You know, you, you really are protecting the historical overlay and the vegetation that's there. And so I just wanted to publicly say thank you for taking that into consideration and, and working with the Ramsey House. And we, we need more folks like you. And, that and Mr. Beeler as well. I mean, I mean Mr. Carson. Uh, that's Beeler, but Carson. Yes, thank you. All right. Yes, sir. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Your motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Hold still a minute. Oh. Next item, please. Item number 42 is a request of William Dale Roten for rezoning from A Agricultural and H Historic Overlay to CA General Business. <clears throat> Property is located at 3220 East Governor John Severe Highway, parcel ID 0961103, part of in the 9th Commission District. All right, let the record show Mr. Roten remains at the podium. Is there any opposition to this? Seeing none, uh, planning recommendation, please. Planning Commission recommends that County Commission approve the CA general business zone by a vote of nine to three. Thank you. Mr. Roten, do you need to say anything else about this? No. All right, you, you, don't, you don't have to. Okay. Are there any other questions or comments before I turn it to uh, Commissioner Daly? Commissioner Daly, the floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Chair. Motion to approve CA general business as recommended by planning. Motion by Daly, second by Schoonmaker. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, your motion carries. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. That leave this on or turn it off? This uh, mic. You can leave it on. Be Thank fine. You. Yeah. <laughs> Item number 43, request of Dennis Valton for rezoning from A Agricultural to RA Low Density Residential. Property is located at 2920 Mayberry Way, parcel ID 055LB00109, and this is in the 7th Commission District. Thank you. Is there any opposition present to this project? Seeing none, uh, Planning Commission, your recommendation? Planning Commission recommends that County Commission approve the RA Low Density Residential Zone because it is consistent with the sector plan and surrounding development by a vote of 11 to 0 consent. Thank you. Uh, if you'd give your name and address, please. Dennis Valton, 2920 Maybury Way, Powell, Tennessee. Thank you, sir. And would you like to address your project? All I want to do is put another mobile home out there. I've got a son. It's disabled. <laughs> I just want to put him a home out there. <laughs> okay. All right. Are there any questions or comments? Seeing none, I'll turn this over to Commissioner Lee. Thank you, Madam Chair. So you just want to put one more mobile home on there, sir? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'd make a motion to uh, approve the low-density residential zone up to two units per acre because it's consistent with the sector plan and surrounding development. Thank you. We have a, uh, a motion on the floor by Lee, second by Ward. Is there any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Your motion carries, sir. Good luck to you. <laughs> Thank you. Item Thanks. number 44 is a request of ARCIP. No, it's no. deferred. No. Okay, this, one, this one's deferred? 44. Okay. Item number 45 is a request of Tanya Burris for rezoning from BP <coughs> Business and Technology Park and TO Technology Overlay to OB Office Medical and Related Services and TO Technology Overlay. Property is located at 10105 Dutchtown Road and 1009 Maybury Hood Road, parcel IDs 118165 and 118168, and this is in the 3rd Commission District. Thank you. Is the applicant present? We'll move that to the end of the agenda. Next item, please. 
Item number 47 is a request of Ziggurat Development, LLC, Janet Plant for rezoning from PC Planned Commercial to OB Office Medical and Related Services. Property is located at 3710 Neal Drive, parcel ID 038NB006, and this is in the 7th Commission District. Thank you. I see the applicant is present. Is there any opposition present? Seeing none, our recommendation of planning. Planning Commission recommends that County Commission approve the OB Office Medical and Related Services Zone because it's consistent with the sector plan and consistent with the surrounding development by a vote of 12 to 0 on consent. Thank you. If you'd give your name and address, please. Uh, Salvatore Plant, 3710 Neal Drive, from Knoxville, Tennessee, 37918. And Janet Plant. Thank you. Yes. And, and you are a part of Ziggurat Development? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Um, do you uh, like? Would you like to speak to your project? No, no. We're just going to turn it into a clinic. Janet's board certified nurse practitioner. We're going to open up a hopefully a women's and children's health care place out there. All right. That's a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right. Thank you. Thank personally. I mean, has not voted on it. personally? I think it sounds great. <laughs> All right. Um, does the um, board have any questions or comments? Commissioner uh, Frazier. Oh, thank you, Madam Chair. Just a, a quick note. There is a cemetery on the front part of this property, and you There's, do plan to preserve it and, and make sure that... Yes, and we've actually contacted a few people with no return mm -hmm. calls. We've tried to contact uh, the University of Tennessee to see if mm -hmm. there was any help offered or or what we can do to, to preserve it. We've talked to our attorney. Of course, he doesn't know, so I know we have to go in front of, I believe, um, a circuit judge before we can do anything. The whole property is actually listed as cemetery property. Okay. Okay. Um, both of our the entire acre, but there is an active, I think it's the second Halls family cemetery. Okay. <clears throat> but yes, there, we, we fully intend to keep it and preserve it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Hmm. Seeing other lights, I'll turn this to Commissioner Lee. Thank you, Madam Chair. Did you say you were going to put a women's health care there? That's what we would like to do. Very needed. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate that. I make a motion to approve the office medical and related services zone because it's consistent with the sector plan. We have a motion uh, on the floor for a, um, approval as recommended by Lee, second by Jay. Any more questions? Seeing none, all those in favor? Opposed? Your motion carries. Good Thank luck you. to you on Thank your you. project. All right. Madam Chair, was 46 deferred? Or? Yes. Yes, it was. I believe that was a um, motion made by, was that your? Uh, 44, I made the motion. Oh. He had already, 46 had already. Right. That's what I thought too, because 46 is deferred. Well, from. I did announce that 46 was deferred till March. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. We have no zoning appeals. We have no amendments. Oh, thank you. Yes, if you'd recall the one that was absent. Item number 45, request of Tanya Burris for rezoning from BP Business and Technology Park to TO Technology Overlay to TOB Office Medical and Related Services and TO Technology Overlay. Property is located at 10105 Dutchtown Road and 1009 Mabry Hood Road, parcel IDs 118165 and 118168 in the 3rd Commission District. Thank you. Did you have a um, comment, uh, Commissioner Daly? Thank you, Madam Chair. Since our rules state that uh, they get one automatic withdrawal, since this being totally odd, let's not count this one against their a strike because they're not here. You follow me? I follow you. Um, I'm wondering, um, uh, Director Brooks, can you speak to what planning has, has done to in this change? as far as um, a the, meeting date. Meeting, yes, we had our staff um, contact each of the applicants to let them know that the meeting had been rescheduled to, to today. Okay. So we let them all know. Would you, would you happen to know if, if they were able to contact this particular 
person. I would need to follow up with them to see uh, if they'd actually spoken to, all right. um, to this person or if they were just able to leave a message. Okay. Did uh, well, Commissioner Oster contact them? Yeah, I was actually going to um, say since this was mine, I've actually reached out to the applicant three times um, in the last month. Um, because I always stay about a month ahead of my zonings, and I haven't gotten an email or a phone call back. Well, so looks, looks like it'll have strike two. Yeah. So. Um, thank you for that. And um, um, our administrative assistant is trying to get my attention. Did you hear something from them? Yes, I received an email, and I responded back to that email and did inform her in the email that the meeting was today. All right. All right. Um, are you still of the same thought process, Mr. Uh, Commissioner Daly? No. No, if they got proper notice and they didn't show, it's we're stick stick with the rules. All right, then this will um, automatically be deferred to the February meeting. <clears throat> is there, well, is there any other business? Well, you all are going to have to hear from me because you always do. I want to tell you, whatever your challenge might be in 2024, you can make the decision to come out bitter or to come out better. Happy New Year. <laughs>